In previous videos, we've had a look at the RA2 Select system from Lutron. We've done a benchtop review of that product, and we've also had a look at just how useful it can be when it comes to modifying the existing installation in a property. In this video, however, we've got the opportunity to have a look at a complete house installation that's been carried out using the RA2 Select system. So we're back on site with MJ Electrical. We're making a ton of content while we're here with him. So me and my awesome looking footwear are gonna go and find Matt. Found Matt hard at work, which is good. What are we up to, Matt? Just finishing the last inline dimmer in this room. Very good, and that's really good because we want to talk about the individual components that make up the RA2 Select system. Yep. And this dimmer is really the kind of fundamental building block that goes into it. So let's come in close and have a look at it. So these are the inline dimmers, Matt, which are really the powerhouse of the Lutron system. Yep. So how are these wired? So very simply, we've got a line of neutral in, switch line neutral out. Excellent. And I must admit, I'm a little bit confused here because we've got three in one place, which is a little bit irregular because that seems a bit overpowered for one light fitting. Yeah, so in this instance, we've wired back to the first down light in the entrance of the room, and these dimmers control in three circuits within this room. So we've got the main down lights, the pendants, and the low level five amp sockets. Okay then, Matt, so we've had a look at the dimmers and really the next logical yep. thing is to come and have a look at the switching. Now, yes. these little modules are referred to as the Pico remotes in the system, and um, I just remove the front there that's obviously not part of the everyday function of this uh, front here but you can see that these switches are completely wireless so what's the advantage of that from your point of view as an installer Matt? So this saves us having to wire down to the switch location um, also has the benefit of sighting the switches so you can wait until the room is finished and you can sight the switch in the best location you're not governed by which way the doors are hung you know you can come in and see which way it works best for you that's brilliant isn't it and also allows you to change it after the event as well Correct. if the customer perhaps isn't happy and changes their mind or something like that yeah it's really good of course normally uh, when electricians start installing things that are wireless we start to worry about the battery life on these things but these have actually got a 10 year battery life on them which is an extraordinary amount of time and when they need replacing it's just an ordinary cell type battery you don't even need uh, a very expensive specialist battery for that so I'm just buying from the supermarket which is fantastic yep. so we'll pop that back together and then maybe if we could bring the cameraman back in nice and close again uh, we're not going to go into tons of depth at this point about the different buttons but we've got some different functions here so at this end Matt we've got the very simple function what does this one do correct so that was a client request on this job they wanted to come in and just turn on the low level five amp sockets uh, so that's literally on off for the low level lighting brilliant so at that point they're not thinking about you know scenes and things like that they just want Correct. to get some lighting on quickly yeah and uh, this one's of interest to me as well because we've got obviously a little uh, play symbol here and up and down and uh, skip so what are those about so that is a dedicated sonos controller oh, wow. so that will control the sonos in this room so once that's set up we could press a button and play music through correct this. yeah Fantastic. so you've got your play pause uh, preset button, volume up, down, next track. That is absolutely fantastic. Now this button here uh, has got a few different things on there to indicate different scenes. We're going to have a little chat about that through back in the kitchen dining room because we've got some really great scenes set up there. Yep. But uh, there's one particular function I'm quite interested in, so we'll uh, we'll head upstairs. So we're up in the bedroom, Matt, and we're where the bed will eventually be. So what's yep. with this switch? It's got some funny little symbols on here. Yeah, so this is a dedicated bedside switch. Okay. So here we've got home alert. So if you feel there's intruder, you can push that button, all the lights in the house come on. Oh, brilliant. Um, and then on the bottom here, we've got night button, okay. again, which will turn the whole house off. Oh, fantastic. So you come up to bed, you go and sleep, hit that one, all the lights go off. You yeah. hear a noise in the garden, you're worried there's a prowler. All but the lights can go on from one position. Yes, indeed. That is a nice touch. Okay, Matt, so you brought me back downstairs now, and we're looking at this data cabinet, which uh, is a bit of a work in progress at the minute, isn't it? It's it not is, quite yeah. finished. No. Uh, but what's inside here that relates to the RA2 Select system? So we've located the main repeater hub inside here. Okay. Um, we've patched that into our data switch. Yep. So when this gets livened up, that'll give the Ethernet to the, the home hub there. Okay. Um, that enables us to program the system yep. um, and full control through the app over the system. Excellent. So basically, it connects the app to the, all of the Lutron equipment that's installed Excellent. in the house. Yeah. So as we know, Lutron operates as a standalone system. Yep. The hub then enables control from your phone to the system. Brilliant. And that really enables kind of the, the powerhouse that is the app, because in there you can do things like scheduling, so bringing lights on and off at different times. Yep. It'll allow you to turn the lights on when you get home automatically if you've got your phone on your pocket, and all kinds of other things, including what we hinted at a little bit earlier, which is that all-important scenes function. 
So we've mentioned a couple of times through the video the scenes function so we're going to have a little look at that in some more detail in this segment so on the switch here we're going to focus particularly on the, the sort of the left hand switch here so we've got these different symbols on here matt so what are the different functions on this button okay so this is a great functionality of lutron um, for ease of use so you come in we've got multiple lighting zones in here mm -hmm. you know, typically you'd have four or five maybe six switches okay. for this type of room yep. Here, you come in, you cook in, press this, it dims down whatever ah, the preset zones are that you brilliant. choose yeah. and highlights the kitchen. So what's happened now is in this whole area, including the kind of um, multifunction area behind us here, the TV area, all those lights have gone off and we've just got the lighting focused on that cooking area now. Correct. So that that's obviously the task that's being carried out. Yeah. Finished making my lovely dinner, I've done my Jamie Olive a bit, it's time to eat. Walk back over here. Okay, press the little dining button there. And again, we've brought the lights up to, not full brightness, but to a no. kind of a cosy environment. Correct. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. Drops the kitchen down, lights down, brilliant. reduces the glare from over there, and then you've got a nice functional light to be able to eat your dinner in. That's fantastic. And of course, you can set this up in different ways with different lights so that it suits your personal circumstances. You can, yeah. What yeah. a great function. So we've seen so far the brilliant flexibility of this system, Matt, where you can create those scenes and the different zones and all those brilliant effects that we've yep. discussed. But one of the things we really love about it is how adaptable it is and how easy it is to extend the system. Because Definitely. when this property was first being kind of designed and built, was the RA2 Select system installed throughout the whole house? It wasn't, no. So when we originally designed the electrical layout here, uh, we only put Lutron in the key rooms. Right. So it's the kitchen, family room, yeah. entrance, and the dining room on the other side of the okay, house. Right. Um, but we wired the house in a way that would enable us to add the Lutron in retrospectively. Ah, oh, brilliant. So when the property then got sold and the customer decided they wanted that brilliant functionality throughout the entire Correct. property, you were able to go back and put it in. And was it, was it quite difficult adding to the system and extending it? Not at all, no. I say the way we wired it enabled us to add it pretty easily. And then we're just back on the uh, Pro Installer app yeah. and link all the additional zones in. Fantastic. And again, if you were to perhaps start from scratch with the entire property, knowing that it was going to be the RA2 Select system throughout, is there anything you'd do a little bit differently maybe with the inline dimmers and switches? Yeah, totally. So if we were doing it as a new install, yeah. full Lutron, uh, we would wire everything back to a central comms point yeah. and have all our Lutron devices in there rather than in the ceiling. Yeah. I mean, as it goes, we install to the first point so we, we know where they all are, they're yeah. easily accessible. Okay then, Matt. So pairing up the inline dimmers and switches with the Pico remotes is possible without diving into the app. But yeah. if you really want to crack into that more kind of complex functionality that the app gives you, how do yeah. you go about doing that? Okay, so you need to become an approved Lutron installer. This will then give you access to the Lutron installer app right. and software. Uh, from there, you know, you can dive into the system, yeah. set up the Pico remotes, the scene yeah. switches, mm -hmm. um, you know, to start setting the light levels to what suits the house and what the customer wants. Brilliant. And is there a bit of support from Lutron to help you achieve that? There is, yes. You have to carry out the Lutron training course to become an installed approver. Okay. And it sounds as well like it kind of enables you to give that kind of almost forward that support on to the customer. Like you can still uh, help them out if something's going wrong with it from their point of view. It does, yeah. You can still access the system yeah. from your phone on the installer app. Yeah, so they can tweak things, change things, and you know, potentially if they don't know how to then correct something back to how they wanted it originally, that's where you we can, can come back in, in and put yeah. it back right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, when you're looking at a smart system, you're looking for three things. You're looking for simplicity, scalability, and reliability. And I think it's fair to say that in the RA2 Select system from Lutron, you've got all three.